Welcome to the Positive Pants Podcast. Mindset, motivation, and inspiration to help you find your positive pants. Let go of negative thinking and stop living for the weekend with your host, Fran Excel. Welcome to the show. As always, it's Fran Excel Mindset Coach, helping you find your very own pair of positive pants so you can get out of your own way and live a life that you love. So today's subject is close to my heart. It's why mindset isn't a nice to have as an entrepreneur. So do you work on your mindset? I see time and time again in the online space that mindset work is is seen as an in inverted commas nice to have. It's something you know you need to work on because you also know it's what's holding you back. But it's all about the strategy first, right? That Facebook course, that Pinterest course that you absolutely need takes priority. So the thing is, strategy isn't your problem. Mindset is. You know all the things. You know the strategy, but you're not doing the work. You're not taking the action that could push you and your business forward, and you're holding yourself back. Does that sound familiar? So all the strategy in the world can't help you when you're feeling like an imposter and wondering who you think you are to think you can do this. So you procrastinate if you're putting yourself out there, yeah? When you're comparing yourself to the person that's been doing it years longer than you, feeling like you're just not good enough, so you procrastinate over putting yourself out there. Or when you're overwhelmed by all the things that you don't even know where to start, so you don't. And you procrastinate over putting yourself out there. When you're procrastinating simply because you're crippled by fear and self-doubt, strategy won't help you with that. Of course, strategy is important, but mindset is just as important, if not more so, in my opinion. You can know all the things to do on a practical level, but if you don't sort the inner stuff that's stopping you from doing them, the negative thoughts, the doubts, the limiting beliefs, you're not going to get anywhere fast, strategy or no strategy. So apart from a fast track to a little more self-loathing, even less confidence and more frustration, and you're just going to be aiming all of those thoughts and those negative beliefs right at yourself. How far do you think you're going to get with that mindset? How tough does it feel trying to get anything done? Like an uphill battle, right? Like pushing water uphill, constantly push, push, push. But you didn't get into this for it to be harder and less fun than your job. When things get tough, which inevitably at points they do, how are you going to stay in the game if you don't have the ability to problem solve and reframe things to the positive, to be able to see the potential lesson or opportunity rather than doom, you know? You need to know and believe that everything is possible for you and that it's all going to work out. If you're constantly doubting yourself or that it's even possible for you, what do you think you're going to get? Do you think you'll be taking the action you need to to get to where you want to be? Are you taking it now? If you've got fear of being visible, which has even more layers of fear and fear and fear under that, how is the Facebook and Instagram strategy going to help you struggle if you struggle to post or go live? If you're going to make it, you're just going to make excuses not to do it or find reasons for why the timing is wrong. And you're just going to stay stuck where you are. It genuinely pains me every time I speak to someone and I can see the problem a mile off. I've got a little gift for spotting your mindset gremlins even when you can't. I can see it. I can hear it in your language. But I can also see the fix too. And how easy it can potentially be to fix it. And then the shiny object syndrome sets in. And then they prioritise a strategic course or professional photography or a web developer, when all of those things are really at the crux of it, just an excuse to not deal with the issue head on, if we get really, really honest about it. They're the busy tasks. They make you, they're sneaky, they make you feel like you're making progress, but really you're kind of just delaying your success and delaying putting yourself out there in the way that you want to, and know you need to, and in the way that you need to, to have the business that you want, and the success, and the money that you want to make. But it really is all sortable. So if you're resonating with any or all of this, don't worry. I promise you, 
all those mindset gremlins that you have can be silenced or at a bare minimum muffled and tamed so they don't bother you anymore. Think of it like swatting away an annoying bug. If you can change the dialogue you have with yourself, identify the key thoughts and beliefs that you have about yourself and your situation, which you can, if you can create the awareness for when you have a pesky thought error that might hold you back, then you combine that with the strategy you already know, my love, you're going to absolutely fly. So I hope you have your journal because I've got an exercise for you. What I want you to do is ask yourself, what are you holding yourself back from doing right now? Write them all down. Every single little thing you can think of in your business, what are you holding yourself back from doing right now? Look at your list. So pause this. If you're writing them now, pause this or come back to it later. Look at your list and then ask yourself, if I could shift the way I'm thinking and my beliefs in these areas, where could I be? Really tune in to that vision of what your life could and would look like if you had more optimism, more confidence, more self-belief in these areas. What would you be doing? Who would you be? Where would you be? How does that feel? Really, really get into that vision. And then ask, if I don't shift the way I'm thinking and my beliefs in these areas, where will I be? Where will I be in a year's time? Where will I be in five years time? Where will I be in 10 years time? Yeah, how's that feel? Why wouldn't you try and fast track the first vision? Yeah, you need to just realize how much of a priority your mindset actually is, how sorting this stuff absolutely isn't a nice to have. It's an essential, 100% essential. It will make your business and your life much more enjoyable again. Things will feel so much easier. You will feel so much more in control of your outcomes because you will be so much more in control of your outcomes. You will have a completely different lens to look at life through with a few simple tweaks and by understanding the thought errors that are holding you back. Doing this work can and will transform your business and your life. It really will. It just needs to be prioritized. You can't think one way in one area and another in another. This will change everything for you for the better. Why would you delay having that in your life for photography or a website? Yes, we need websites. But you can have a, you know, a basic website. It doesn't need to be all singing, all dancing. You can invest in sorting this stuff. This is what's going to make you fly. So there's a few things that we really, really need as an entrepreneur. And all of these things are things that a strong, positive mindset will absolutely give you. So you need perspective, the ability to put things into perspective. You need positivity. You need that positivity to be able to be resilient, to be able to reframe. You need the ability to take criticism. You need optimism and determination, drive, self-belief, productivity, focus, motivation, the ability to adapt to change at the drop of a hat. You need to be great at decision making. You need to be great at pushing through fear, getting visible, managing stress. There are so many more than this. If you can't, if you can't master these, which strategy will not give you, it's going to be difficult. So the bottom line is your inner game really does drive your outer game. You've heard that before. Mindset is a huge part of business and success in business. The doubts, the fears, the limiting beliefs all need to go. There is no room for them in this amazing business of yours. There really, really isn't. And when you can look at the evidence around you, when you really, really look, you can see that the most successful business owners in the world all credit an element of mindset work to their success, all of them. The most common themes that come through are meditation, mindfulness, visualization, a morning routine, journaling, but all of them focus on creating these positive habits, thoughts and beliefs, but they all work on their mindset on a daily basis. I'm talking multimillionaires, the most successful people that are well known, Oprah, I mean, <laughs> You need to try and let go of any stigma that you have around these subjects being woo, because they're 
all backed in science. Serious amounts of science. So to me, strategy plus mindset equals success. Strategy and mindset genuinely do go hand in hand to create success. You can't you can't have it with 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 only one of these at play. All of these successful multimillionaires all had the same gremlins that you have at one point or another. The procrastination, the overwhelm, the self-doubt, the imposter syndrome, the comparisonitis. But they knew it was that that they needed to work on to propel them forwards. That's the difference. So where could you be if you had more confidence, more self-belief, more positive thoughts? If you had these tools in your armory to deal with all the inevitable mindset gremlins and obstacles that get in your way, what would you do that you're not doing right now? Who would you be if this was a priority? Working on your mindset is not fluffy. It's not nice to have. It's not something that can wait. It is an essential piece of the puzzle and something that can fast track you right to where you want to go. So why would you want to delay that any longer? Yeah. So I hope that was really helpful and I hope that resonated with you and please do hop over into the Facebook group and ask me any questions you'd like. The link is in the notes. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and I will see you next week. Bye.